I want to talk about film. I want to talk about Freaked from 1993. This is a film that was directed and stars Alex Winter from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Um, it also stars Keanu Reeves in a small role as well as a dog-faced boy. Uh, it's got Randy Quaid, William Sadler, it's got Brooke Shields, it's got the brother out of Blossom, if you can remember that. Um, it's got Mr. T as well in it. Um, God, Mr. T plays a bearded lady. Um, you get a full explanation behind his backstory, so uh, don't worry about that. But yeah, Mr. T. You also get lots of little cameos from other people. Freaked is a film that's really unique. Um, struggle to describe it as any particular genre. It's horror, comedy, sci-fi. It's like a bad sort of acid trip for someone and it's shot in that way as well. I think Alex Winter knows that that's, um, that's what the film is and it's the only way to get it done. It doesn't rely heavily on any CGI or anything like that because it was made before that was readily available. I think Jurassic Park had only been out a year before. Um, it, any sort of effects are done practically, which is really good. Um, and where they try and do transformations for the freaks, they show them in claymation form, which is really good because it's somewhat timeless because of the way claymation looks. The plot is that Alex Winters, a actor who is sent off to some faraway country to star in an advert just to make some money by a big corporation. He gets, stops at a freak show and gets captured and he and his friends get turned into freaks to participate in the freak show that Randy Quaid's running. There's a real good range of freaks and I won't name them all now because that's half the fun is see what they are and working them out for yourselves. But you get their full backstories and they're just as silly as you might expect. Um, this is a really good fun film to watch. I don't know if it's one that you can keep re-watching, but it's the kind of thing you can have a good laugh with your mates to see. I particularly like the little kid that follows Alex Winters around. They're meant to be his greatest fan, and he's got a special psychic connection with him as a result. He turns into a giant super freak at the end that you get to see have a fight with everyone. Um, Alex Winter seems to come off the worst when it comes to prosthetics, and I wonder if that's because he was in charge. The the film's really fun. It's just a really great fun film to watch. It's really cheap to buy at the moment. It's worth having if you like this kind of film or you like horror films or sci-fi or just weird comedies. Um, <laughs> the plot points in it are strange. There's nice little shots in it with um, different angles and very creative. And there's a nice one where they run underground in a tunnel and you see the tunnel collapsing and then and then they pop out the other end with their prize, which is macaroons. Yeah, you've got to watch the film to work out why that's relevant. Um, but yeah, really good film to watch, Freak.